Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide. Hope it come down to PlayStation a little later down the line. And this time we are getting it all in the excellently and very fun Rain On Your Parade. Now this game was developed and published by Unbound Creations and is usually available for £11.99, but because it is so fit and gorgeous, Xbox Game Pass has this on there right now. Amazing. So, as I always say, go get it now. No! No! Anyway, so we play as a cloud and it's our job to be the biggest jerk we can be by ruining people's days, by raining on them, serving them up mouldy drinks, setting things on fire, uh, and etc, <laughs> etc. Et but this also helps if you're stressed in real life and have no other way of relieving said stress. Now it is a fun and easy game and achievements are really not bad at all no matter how much they may look that complicated. So we need to complete the game uh, first before some achievements can be earned in New Game Plus, so that's later on, so keep that one in mind. There are some easily missables, which we can grab on the way, and we will be collecting 16 fanboys, or the actual term is, we are making them wet. <laughs> Interpret that how you want. <laughs> Uh, there are also four potentially tricky achievements for completing levels in a time limit without getting hit, but pressing the A button makes that insanely easier now. So we've already just unlocked our first achievements for booting up the game there. That's nice and easy. You press A to rain, left trigger to move. Easy enough there. Uh, but the hardest one, in my opinion, is a survival type level where the city can't be hit, but we will come to that later. Oh, and an achievement for staying completely still for an hour. So either way, we're looking at about four to five hours to complete this awesome game. And with that being said, let us begin. So this is what you'll always get on the beginning of every level. The star indicates the main objective that we need to do to be able to end the level. The other one we don't have to do. So press the A button on the bride, the A button on the groom. <laughs> You are making everyone wet. It must be one hell of a wedding, I'm telling you that much. Um, but yeah, so as soon as you see in the top left hand corner that the star objective is uh, ticked and all good, now we can actually just end the level. Um, completing all objective basically just unlocks us a bit of decor and a couple of accessories and things like that. It's not needed for any achievement, so do not be worrying about that like. So, this is the main world hub, as we progress from level to level, press the A button to start on it. Obviously, these uh, first few levels are going to be very easy, um, just to get us used to the game. So, you can pretty tell what's on fire. The fire kind of looks like balls, which is hilarious, but just keep raining on everything that is on fire, and that will be that for this level. So, I mean, we do kind of save the day once or twice, but the rest of it, we are literally... We're gonna, I don't know, we're kind of like cloud jerk-off mode constantly. Which is never necessarily a bad thing. Like I said, if you've had a bad day and you want to piss some people off, which you don't want to do in real life, this is always handy. Uh, so any little cutscenes like this, we can skip using the B button. Head over to the right there, we're going to go to the beach level. And for an achievement later on then, we need to get both of these objectives. So avoid the sun, who is looking pissed up at you, as we get all the girls and guys wet and soaking for us. Dirty gits. Also, if you can see in the background there, there is somebody who says, I love Cloud. Now, they are the fanboys. And we've got to soak 16 of them throughout the entire game um, for a, another achievement later on. So as long as you've got um, the two objectives here, avoiding the sun and soak all the humans, we get these sunglasses, which again, like I said, is going to come in handy for us uh, for another achievement later on. Um, so we can, if you want to now, we're going to go and get the sunglasses on now anyway. So pressing the back button or the select button, whatever you want to call it, go down to accessories, whap the sunglasses on and take your exit. Now there's going to be, an, like I said, a level later on where we will get the achievement for wearing sunglasses at night. So now we can just move on, head up there, and the levels will start to get a little bigger, but still pretty easy. So all we need to do then is grow a beautiful garden. So get your blinkers out, get your rain ass out, and just literally soak the entire grass area until all of them are covered with trees. This is such a seriously fun game. Yeah. <laughs> 
Imagine being able to get away with being a jerk like this in real life. Well, it would make for a lot more entertainment, I'm telling you that much. But since we can't, we have to do it in games. Go over to the right hand side level right here and there is a couple of things that we need to be doing. Exploding the chemistry set, wake a sleeping teacher, overflow a volcano. Sounds complicated, really, really isn't. So first things first, go to the right, get yourself blue and then piss it all away in the chemistry set. Then go ahead and get the yellow and then piss yourself in the chem chemistry set. That will explode it. Job done. Go sort of to the left and up and you'll see the volcano here. Take a little whiz in that. Since it's yellow, maybe we need to drink some water. Or maybe it's just gangrene or something. Anyway, head to the right, wake the sleeping teacher here, and just up above where the teacher is, make sure to soak this fanboy too. We've just made him very wet for us, which is what being a fanboy and fangirl is all about, huh? Huh? I'm sure that's a thing. Yes. Anyway, we've done that level. Now we can move on to the next one, just up. And for this one, we don't actually have to do anything. We can actually just um, end the level, and that's going to give us a new high score of approximately zero. But we've got a new guitar out of it, so... Rock on, boys. Rock on. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, next one, just head up a little bit. And basically, with this one, we just need to burn it all. Set it all on fire. Oh, man, I don't know what to sing. Um, anyway, to burn it all... On the left, you'll see black bubbles floating up. Hover over it. We've got the oil, and there's a fire in the top right corner. So now you can just press the A button and start sprinkling it down. That's going to set everything on fire, and just keep going until you burn everything. So do we sing through the fire and the flames? Do we sing? Nah, nah, I'll just I'll leave it. So to keep going, everything is going to explode. You really are. I mean, this is just this is general. This could be classed as genocide right now, cloudicide. But since there are no cloud police, and the police will never suspect the cloud, we are good to just keep going. Yes! <laughs> so, next level then, just up and to the right a little bit, we're going to the farm. As a couple of things we have to do, and we're going to need to come back here for an achievement in just a little touch. So we've got to destroy the yellow wheat, um, destroy, corrode all the cars, but first of all, head to the left and up in this little sort of wheat patch right here. Get this person soaking, absolutely dripping over you, and then we can just move on. So that should be a third fanboy. Now head up to the right and in this river here, some acid which is what exactly we're going to be needing. Head back to the left and you're going to see this wheat field that's already wheated. You just sort of... <laughs> you deplete... Deplete the wheat with your acid and... Sheet. <laughs> well, close enough. So that should be that one done. Now, you, now uh, corrode these two cars here. For some reason I forget to do that one in the middle there. Um, there's one on the right uh, just up there. Now we're going to head back down. So, obviously, you know, if you press the left trigger, that will bring up your photo mode as well, if you're having a little hard time wondering where a neat thing is. So, that should be three right there, two in the middle, one at the top. Now, head to the bottom, there's one there, and there should be another one just behind this rock here. Perfect. So, that should now be all five out of five, but like I said, for some reason, I forgot to do the extra one in the middle. So you press Y to focus, have a little look around if you want. By the way, there are tons and loads of Easter eggs in this game as well to look at, so... Oops, sorry, just burnt your balls off there, pal, sorry. My, my bad, my bad, didn't mean to do that, didn't mean that be. But yeah, like I said, tons of Easter eggs, so if you want to, uh, you know, be a detective and get your camera out and have a look at where a lot of them are, they are extremely fun. Anyway, heading up, now this um, basically is a boss level now. This is the first boss level. It's really not too bad, but these boss levels are what we're going to have to do with don't get hit and do it in the time limit a bit later, but luckily there's a little, I don't know if it's a glitch or a trick or anything, but we'll come back to that later on anyway. So, anyway, just sort of head through the middle of all these turrets right here. It doesn't matter if you do get hit or not, by the way, as long as you don't die. I think four hits means you're dead. So we're going to head to the left, try and avoid the one at the top there, which I obviously didn't do. 
just go left here and in the rocks right now there is a little way you can go right so you can avoid the ones at the top and then just go ahead and hit the button at the top there that is job done first boss fight done you are the cloud so we could be jerks to people but then there's somebody who also wants to kill us we're a cloud though pretty sure you can't kill us but that's okay and why can't you do it you're bigger than me bloody santa cloud Anyway, on the next level there, this is where we unlock the Thunder ability and get the Thunderlicious achievement. So you press the B button, and that will... Now, usually in real life, that would kill. That would bloody kill a lot of people. But of course, video games, the logic doesn't stand to reason, which is always nice. So we're going to head back down to the farm before we move on. Because we are getting a missable achievement. Which can easily be missed, but that's fine. So what we need to do is make some popcorn, so... Uh, just head to the weed field basically in front of you and grow them all. Again, Christ, I bet farmers wish it was this easy to do all this, huh? Jesus, they would be richer than they are now without having to do nearly as much as the work. Anyway, once all that's good, just keep spamming the B button on a lot of unused areas. That's going to make some popcorn. And the objective will be done and the achievement should unlock. But ding! There it is, everyone's most favourite sound, the rare achievement sound. Anyway, that one's done, so now we can end the level, move on. So, if you didn't do all the objectives on the beach, or you're not wearing any sunglasses, now is the time to do them, because we're getting another missable achievement, just after the Thunder Theatre. Make sure again you're wearing your sunglasses, because the achievement will unlock straight away, and that is for wearing your sunglasses at night. So, should unlock eventually. Otherwise, for the time being, then, we can't... There it is. There it goes. So, Stylish Cloud. That is for wearing sunglasses at night. This is an easy level where we're just soaking all the humans. I only ever see humans on cringy Facebook posts about their uh, animals and stuff. Oh, my human took me for a walk today. Anyway, so make sure you got that Stylish Cloud achievement. And this is another level, the campground, where we're going to be soaking another fanboy. Going to make him wet for us. So, destroy the tents here and the fire. Uh, keep sticking to the right-hand side. You're going to see another camp and another fire to destroy. Sorry, sorry, everyone. Just ruining all your nights. So, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Oh, I'm putting it all on fire now. So, sorry. Oh, well. We are too cool for school. Another fire on the right just here. Make sure to be pulling that out and then go to the left. There is nothing at the top. Don't even think about it. Go all the way down. And there should be one fanboy, one fire, and one tent. So that's both of them done. The fanboy's going to be on the right. There he is. I love you, Cloud. Well, if you love me. Make me rich. Give me money. I'm a Cloud. I could... I, I, I play Xbox Cloud, and I drink Cloud coffee and stuff. So, anyway... Make sure you got the fanboy. Make sure you got all the all the uh, objectives. We can move on. Head up. And we're going to be playing Umbrella City, except we're not actually going to be playing it. Because what we can do is end the level immediately again. And that's going to get us another bit of decor. So that's the only reason I'm doing it for, is just getting a, a few little bits of decoration. But uh, sorry, before we leave, if you head to the Thunder Theatre, back down there, Thunder the Mountain, we're going to see another fanboy. Now there are only four fanboys in the hub world. This one is the hardest to find because he's under a mountain. The rest are very easy. So just make sure to grab him by Thunder Mountain, or Thunder whatever, underneath the mountain. Then we can move on to the next level, the office. Uh, this one, <clears throat> excuse me, not COVID related, honest. <laughs> but this one, there's four episodes, they are very short enough. So first one, all we're going to be doing then is soaking all the humans. So make sure to soak it all. Make them wet, make them spark, make it all. Uh, but it's basically a very small office, so just soak them all before we move on. If not, then you'll be doing this level forever. I'm sorry. Oh, there he was, sneaky Kentucky Fried Chicken head on the left there. Poof. Well, thanks for that, bruh. 
So, episode two. Now, what we need to do is deliver hot coffee to everyone. So, we go from jerk to being nice. So, the coffee, go to the right. It's in this little kitchen area. You see all the bubbles popping out of it. Now, we are brown, brown cloud. So, basically, a lot of the tables have a lot of coffee cups on them. So, you can't really miss this one. And one in the break room there. There should be another one on a table here. And then we can just move on to the left. That should be it for now. You know, like I said, you know, all these levels are just extremely easy enough. They, they are a lot of fun. But it is in terms of the achievements, a lot of them can be easily missed. So have a look in this middle area for some more coffee cups there. Um, yeah, simple enough. There we go. So that one's done. So now we can... Well, I tell you what, I'm surprised people haven't deemed that offensive and racist yet. Coffee's brown on a white cloud. Eh? Anyway, Chili Man, Thunder, <laughs> thunder Chili Man right here. I'm sorry, buddy. That was, that was genuinely a dick move from us there. But it's what we got to do to move on. I'm sorry. And last but not least, we need to cause a fire. So head straight up. There's a little oil spill there, which for some reason the workers didn't have checked out. Get yourself on the cake. And then just set everything on fire. Little tip as well, if you do run out of fire, just press the B button on the oil to thunder it. That will also start a fire. And... Again, this is an even bigger dick move than uh, tripping up the chili guy. <laughs> Why we're doing this, I don't know, but it sure makes for some entertainment, right? So, from the office, go to the right slightly to the next one. This is called going to work. This is a slightly longer level, but there is a fanboy in it. Um, so the only objective we need to do is basically make this guy's day as miserable as possible. So just keep raining on him. The um, the bar below is basically how much he gets wet. We obviously need to try and fill that up as best we can. But there's going to be uh, times when he's going to get dry, so we need to thunder some umbrellas away, etc, etc. Now, come on, we've all had days like this, haven't we? And you just want to punch everyone in sight. So... As he keeps walking, he's going to start walking towards the umbrella. What we need to do, just keep raining on him until he just about goes to pick it up. And then just give it a thunder. He'll move on anyway. Well, now there's a little tiny gap in the bottom, but that literally doesn't matter. There is the fanboy now. So what I do here is just thunder all these guys out the way. And then go and take a whizzle on our fanboy here, Justin Bieber. Spitting on people over a balcony style. And for some reason, I completely started missing him. <laughs> <laughs> um, but there we go, he's going to run to the cafe now, so just make sure to keep t uh, taking all your dumps and whizzes on him. I'm sorry, buddy. And he, uh, this guy, and that's the end of the level, by the way, that is it. But that guy kind of looked like, you know, his dog's just died, his wife's just left him. Um, he's probably just caught chlamydia from Thailand somewhere or something, and now everyone's raining on him. Not good, not good. Anyway, <laughs> so we're going to move on. Not that I've ever caught AIDS from Thailand. I've never been to Thailand, but I wish <laughs> I would definitely like to go one day. So we've got a couple of things to do on this fancy restaurant level as well. Now, the waiter will not have any food uh, yet, so don't even try to um, destroy him yet. We're just going to go basically all the way to the right for the time being. Oh, see, everyone looks like they're having a nice time. This was before COVID as well, so, you know, back when you could... Look at people without being paranoid. They're going to spew and cough all over you. So now we are sick with green mold. There are going to be cups on a lot of these tables. So what I just do is take a little piss on them. Take a little moldy whiz on them. And basically it's going to fill up all their cups. There are obviously enough cups on all of the tables that we can do the objective. So just keep slamming them out. You know, even if they haven't got cups, it's nice to just ruin people's delicious looking steaks there, doesn't it? So you see this electric box, make sure to take a little whiz in the middle of there by the plugs and then turn it on by pressing the B button. This is going to come in mega handy for the other two objectives. So we're just going to keep on going until we fill up everyone's glasses and ruin everyone's dinners with mouldy whiz. And, well, there was the waiter, we just got the waiter one, so any waiter that you see, just zap them all. Um, until, well, it's better to wait until he starts coming from the kitchen, of course. Now, for some reason, that didn't work there. We have to, we had to thunder that little box to get the food all spinning, but for some reason, 
it didn't work. If it doesn't work the first time, we're going to go back to the junction box now on the right. Uh, so just fill up everyone's uh, cups with Moldy Whiz. And again, for some reason, so if it, that doesn't work, just head back to the junction box on the very right hand side. For some reason that it did work for me. <laughs> what you doing there, boy? What, what, what you doing? I'll tell you what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to look at... Ah, right. So now I've realised... Oh, wait, it still didn't work. So head back, like I said, to the electric box on the right. Take another whiz on it and then just turn it on. Uh, turn it off and then turn it on again. Very IT crowd style. Very IT professionalism. Have you turned it off and then turned it back on again? Yeah, that should work. But this time it actually does work. So now this little electric box should be flashing. Then we can press the B button to thunder it. And the mouldy food goes everywhere. Enabling us to complete this kind of a long level, but a very fun one all the same. So, congratulations for being jerk number 18 for the game so far. So, head to the right here. Now, this is the second sort of boss level, if you will. I mean, it kind of looks like an angry, angrier Danny DeVito or something with a Dr. Robotnik moustache. That's fine by us, though. That is always hilarious. So we're going to try and not get hit, and all we've got to do then is soak all the people. As you see, we just got the fanboy in the bottom left-hand corner. So he should be pretty unmissable anyway. Uh, make sure to soak literally everyone. So zap all the umbrellas, everyone on the uh, in the swim pool, and the, underneath the umbrellas, at, at the bar on the top right-hand corner. Again, doesn't matter if we get hit on this one. This one is all fine. Oh, look at that guy. You cannot escape the wetness of wrath of cloud. Anyway, this is another boss level that we can come back to later on to get another achievement. Head to the right. There's going to be the second fanboy in the hub world. Very easily spotted. And again, I just thunder on him because I am sorry. I am a jerk off. I'm very sorry about that. But we're all used to it. Now, to get this to get our next power, as it were, you have to complete this little level. And when I say complete it, we can actually just end it. And that will enable the next bunch of curtains to appear. And we are now able to go. Press the B button to skip. Yawn. Yawn. And we've got the snow ability. And we'll also get the achievement, of course, for chili. Press the Y button and hold it, that is going to turn everyone into Jack Frost and they look like they're going to pass out with gold. Unlucky Mucker. So, when we're done pissing that guy off, sorry, sorry, this is just, that is Justin Bieber spitting on people over a balcony type stuff. I'm not that much of a jerk off, although I wish I was that rich. That's for another day though, so what we're going to do then, all we got to do then is flip a car and basically turn everyone into human snowballs. So get snow in the middle of the road, get a nice, you know, big sort of pile of it, that is going to flip a car lovely. And then, it's, then it is just as simple as holding the Y button on all of the people. Now, the, if you do end up, as you can see, the bar on the right-hand side, if you do end up running out, there is always a little section, a little water section, that we can use to fill it back up. So don't worry if you accidentally run out. But you shouldn't on this level. I'm just taking the mick with it, to be honest. <laughs> Next! Next level! No, 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 next. Anyway, we're going to move on. And this one is very easy again. Young Cloud. Hey, hey, why are you looking at me like that, old Cloud? You should be in prison for looking at young clouds like that. I know who you are. Anyway, what we're going to do first is just get rid of all the fences. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that was probably not, not, not my best joke. But I've had worse. So, get rid of all the fences that are on the right, then cover the people in snow, and then zap them off with the B button. So, Y button for snow, zap them off then with the B button. Because if you do try and just um, zap them off without them being in snow, they just sort of stand there somehow. Without their brains being electrified. <laughs> so this is hilarious. But that is the only thing that we've got to do on this level then. Oh man, it feels so good. Come here. So there we go. Now we can move on. Uh, we're going to head to the left 
first, this one, again, this is another one where we can just end the level immediately. Man, that is the most depressed looking frog I've ever seen. Even the ones being eaten and shit have a nicer, happier time than them. So we're going to move up now. This is called the Quiet Mountain Town. And then South Park, the movie begins. Anyway, first thing we're going to do, head to the left. We're going to be getting another fanboy now. Let's get our spit ready, Justin Bieber. <coughs> and then... All over him. So that should be number 9 out of 16 for the fanboys now. And the only objective that we need to do is head over to this big uh, snow spot where all the sledders are. Now, I thought just making a big path of snow would work, but I think what we actually have to do is get the snow going down as the sledders are coming down with it. So they're sort of following you as you go. Even though there's a big snow path, apparently that's not good enough. Ugh. Sorry, girl. Girl. But we did flip another car, which is always hilarious. So, as soon as the next sledder comes down, as you can see, he does start flying down, but he just doesn't make it enough. And then the next sledder goes absolutely flying. And... He's gone. So that's all we got to do there. And that should be this level complete. Let's move on. And as we go up just a little bit to the next level, this one is an important one as we have to do every single objective. And this is for another missable achievement a bit later on. But it is imperative that we get every one. So it's easy enough to do the two star objectives, um, but we do have a third objective and a fourth one will appear later as well. So. This is what we've got to do. Go to the left, get yourself some acid up inside yourself. Like you've got the glasses on. Um, <laughs> so nobody can see just how acided up we are. Put acid all over the graveyards. On the gravestones even. Until you get enough zombies. Try and get it over every single one. And then we'll get enough zombies. Basically what we're going to do now. They're just going to follow you. Because we are the unquestionable cloud zombie master. Happy days, and then what we need to do is just basically get get our zombie army going into everything. To we need one of the one of the objectives is to cause ten thousand dollars worth of damage. So we need to be going into a lot of cars and a, a bunch of little small items. We also need to be getting our zombies to attack every single person that we see as well. Uh, because one of the objectives a little bit later on is for turning uh, turning at least. 30 humans into zombies, so it's all very easy enough, but it is quite a big level and it can take up to, a, you know, it can take around sort of five, six minutes to do, so, yeah, so every single car that we see, you need to get your zombie pals munching on them, causing a lot of damage, up to 10,000, very easy enough to get 10,000 anyway, and don't worry, we don't need to be um, acided off our head now, we should be good. Because we can just get our zombie pals to do everything for us. See? And who said the zombie apocalypse is bad? I suppose it's only bad if you're a human rather than a cloud. But still. Still. It's all good. So, just keep on slamming the car. We're going to go up. Uh, it's, it, You know, basically, I don't know what else I can say at the minute. Apart from just keep munching cars. Keep munching people. Go left up here. When we get to the end of the alleyway, we're going to be going left because there's another couple of people to deliciously moan shown. And if you were a stoner before you became a zombie, you'll probably be extra hungry. So, you know, enjoy. Now you will lose a couple of zombies here from being shot at, but you won't lose that many, and we're going to munch them anyway. So again, it's literally nothing that you can do now, as long as you're directing them in the ways of people and many things, it's still pretty easy. But before we head down, we're actually going to be heading up right now. Um, so you'll have a look at this mega, this mega mall. God damn, America's cool. 
Um, but we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna keep munching people, uh, literally everyone that we can. But there are a whole bunch of people to munch on, and this is where the new objective appears. So make sure to be again grabbing all of the people, grabbing all of the things. In fact, we should have now just done that one um, objective for over ten thousand. So that's nice. As soon as we've got everything that we need up here, there we go. So now we've got the thirty humans. So now it's literally just a case of. Um, let getting five zombies to escape and we do that by heading down 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 And as we head down there's going to be a little oil spill on the left hand side there it is and there's going to be some fire on the right so again, if you wanted to, just um, press A to dump your oil, and then press the B button to thunder it. That'll uh, slam it on fire, explode everything, and they're just going to keep following us down. Just keep going down until we hit the exit. Not a lot else to do now. We are going to be shot at violently. And a zombie's just hungry, man, you know. They're not doing much. They just want, they just want to eat. What's wrong with that? That's like millions of... 30 stone people around the world, plus me. Anyway, get them into this light, job done, level ends. So there was a reason we needed to do all of those objectives and that was to get the chainsaw decor. So when we exit the level, press the back so slash select button to go into the homely abode, go to accessories and decor and make sure we've got our chainsaw equipped. Now, a little bit later on, not too distant future, we are going to be diving into a level with the chainsaw unlocked. In fact, it's going to be called the Texan. I'm pretty sure we're going to do that next, I believe. So, yes, so head down all the way to um, the going to work level and the office level. So down and it's going to be left and it's going to be in this little sort of town area right here. It's a level that we haven't actually done yet. So there it is, so the office, and it's just north of the office, the next one there. As long as you've got your chainsaw up, then we will get the achievement. Should get it straight away, so move a little bit, there it is, so it should unlock. Happy days, the, the Texan Chainsaw Massacre. The Easter eggs in this game are phenomenal. <laughs> I love them a lot. So we can end the level, and now we can go back to where we came from, so it's right up and we can go to the next level. So we are we've already done it came from the sky, so we're gonna do the next one, the kind of breakout that's the game, I'm pretty sure it's called, breakout looking level, and there is a reason for this. This is where we're gonna be getting a missable achievement. So dump a whole bunch of snow about and basically you see in the Bottom right hand corner then, the MS, well we need to get that to just over 200, you need to get it 200 plus, uh, basically that, literally that is just the speed that this uh, little bowel is going at, so there we go then, so it may take, it may take 30 seconds, it may take up to a minute, it literally just depends on the speed, and it all depends on a little bit of luck, but it is easy enough, you just keep dumping the snow, and eventually you will get it up to 200, and then we can move on, end this level. So from here, if we just head up and to the left a little bit, I I think we, yes, we do have to do this level to be able to progress anyway, so all we need to do is literally just clean the bathroom. Now this bathroom is f just full of piss, poop, AIDS, chlamydia, gonorrhea, super AIDS, super Kentucky Fried Chicken AIDS. Uh, yeah, there's a whole lot in here which, uh, I mean this just reminds me of my hometown's uh, nightclub toilets to be honest. Pure, sticky, disgusting crap. But, <laughs> all we have to do is clean it. So. Well, clean it. Job done. <laughs> Keep cleaning everything until you finish the level. It's it's pretty simple fact. Science this. Mm -hmm. 
So when that's done, head to the right. Now we can do the news channel. Uh, press B to skip. This one is actually uh, quite a fun level for me. Enjoyed this one. The, the cloud news channel. But there is a fanboy on this level as well. As well as doing the three uh, main objectives. So first of all, we're going to head straight up. Uh, you can z I, I only zap it because I'm a dick as well as the cloud being a dick. So it's all good. I'm um, going to the very back and hit the right arrow a couple of times until the objective, the second objective for getting a green screen up unlocks. Now there is that fourth objective but we don't actually need that. So just head to the right and what we're going to do is actually get the fanboy first. So by the green screen, just by the weather, underneath it, there he is. I love you cloud. I don't know why, we literally were just, I'm just taking a piss on all of you. I'm not sure why. Anyway, there's the weatherman. This is who we need to <laughs> chuck down the stairs. So, press Y to get him in a snowball, and then press B to thunder him. And you need to sort of, you need to get him to the left. Uh, the, the stairs are basically down and to the left. So, just keep zapping him. Somehow, this guy stays alive. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty... Uh, it's a pretty harsh thing that we're doing. He's only trying to do his job, and he's being zapped to death, snowballed to death, and then thrown down the stairs. <laughs> I bet he wishes he... Yeah, I bet he wishes he stayed home today. Yeah, screw it. This job's just not worth it. So there's the stairs on the left. Zap him, and he'll be good to go. And then all you need to do then is go towards the camera, and that will be that objective unlocked, and the level will finish. Ah, oh, poor guy, poor guy. So, next up, go up a little bit. This is going to be the third out of four boss fights. Quote-unquote boss fights, if you will. Very easy again. It doesn't matter if you hit or not. Really does not matter. All we need to do is basically destroy all the turrets without running out of water. And that's very easy enough. So, obviously, just avoid the turrets. They will be moving. Put a bit of snow on the tracks by pressing the Y button, obviously. That'll... And that will um, slip them off beautifully. And you've got to hit these red switches here. Thunder it. Rather than rain on it, don't know why I tried that one. <laughs> but if you thunder it, that'll open up the gate, put a bit of snow on the track, destroy the turret, and so on and so forth. There are only seven um, through the level. It's a simple one anyway. And of course, like I said, with the achievement for not getting hit and doing it under a time limit, we have those perfect, what I believe is a potential glitch, but... Who knows, it may stay in the game, but it may go off a bit longer, but more on that later. Let's just destroy the turrets, move on up, and get the hell on out of here, boy. Right, so from here, before we do the next level, go behind the curtains to soak the third out of four fanboys in the hub world. So, again, very easy one. You should be able to spot him. Next, we're going to unlock the tornado ability when we interact with the curtain there. And then uh, you press and hold the X button to get the tornado whirlwind of death. Oh, yes. And let's see, we're about... 15 to 20 minutes away from the end of the game now. So, obviously again, soak the fanboy if you haven't already, then go up and to the left a little bit. And obviously we're going to be doing a lot of tornado missions now. So all we need to do then is press the X button, get all, get about 65 items in the red circle there. Now, obviously be aware that the more you tornado about, a lot of things will go out with a circle. So just try and grab everything that you can and try and... Get your finger off the X button literally a split second before you throw everyone in so you're not accidentally taking more stuff out with you. Okay then, so go to the left a little bit, we're going to the supermarket now. Now the only thing we're doing in this is getting wet another fanboy. So from here, if we just head left, down, down left, and there's going to be a little another fanboy just behind this till. 
There he is. So give him a little soak in Justin, Spie Justin Bieber spitting over the balcony style. Or, you know, being squirted on or something. Uh, yeah, make him wet anyway. <laughs> wet him up and then just <laughs> end the level. And now we can move on. And go left and down to the Dust Devil's Crossroads. There's another fanboy in here, plus another couple of things that we have to do. So, as we begin, we are going to put all the cows on the train, spin every, spin all the things so we're making go north. But from the start, you just head up, up the screen, and make sure to press the Y button to trap him in snow, rather than rain, because if you rain at all, it fails the level. So make sure to hit that fanboy with snow, that will count, so don't worry about that. Poor lad, though, he is going to freeze his titties off in there and no one's around to help him. So the first cow then is basically just where we started. If we go down from the screen, put him on the train, right there, the empty gap. And there is the first weather vane and you need to point him north. There is a little N, as you can just see, pointing north, which obviously, you know, I mean, everyone should know they never eat shredded wheat. Northeast, southwest kind of stuff. Anyway, happy days. So with these two cows, put them on the train, and then just keep heading left, and we're going to see another two cows and another two weather vanes. Make sure to just pop them north, grab the cows, put them on the train. It is as simple as popping pimples up the butt. Or, or something. So next up then from here, go up and to the left slightly, we're going on to the moon next. Uh, clouds can go on moons, right? That's um That's pretty that's scientific, right? Any any scientist watching, you you let me know. I'm pretty sure that that's fine. Anyway, what you need to do, grab the astronaut here, just put him to the right a little bit until he falls into the canyon. Wait until the objective is complete. Happy days, then go up to the next crater where you see the um uh the robot thing sorry completely i can't even remember what it's called right now fill up the crater with water and then what you need to do you can either tornado him in uh, tornado it in even or i just end up zapping his ass and he goes in that way that'll end uh, that'll do it and then we can end the level again he's not even in but it gave me the objective anyway i will take that thanks mate So here we go then, probably one of the most annoying achievements in the game, so if we head up, now we are doing the achievement and level called Do Not Move. So, you've got to do exactly as it says, Do Not Move. Now make sure that you've got your Xbox controller plugged in, so that it will obviously stay and the controller won't go off. If the controller does go off though, um, if you just reconnect it, press the right bumper button, that will be fine just to reconnect, it won't actually move. And you won't, because if as soon as you move, it'll fail the level. So that's why, yeah. But we got to stay here perfectly for an hour until we get to three thousand six hundred points. <laughs> also, another thing: if the Xbox turns itself off, like mine did, thank you <laughs> to the sexually awesome. Oh, it's not that sexual, but it is bloody awesome. The fantastic quick resume. I managed to press quick resume it. Put me back in the level and it put me from 3500 or whatever so luckily with that one you don't obviously have to do this one now you can do it a bit later on if you prefer but i'm obviously just showing you now just to get it out of the way <coughs> so yeah there's literally there's no quicker way to do this you literally put it on go take an hour's poop go touch yourself for an hour go 
I don't know, whatever it is that you like doing for a specific hour until the achievement <laughs> unlocks. Personally, I would touch myself while I'm pooping. I'm, I'm joking. I'm just joking. Don't don't hate me for it. <laughs> Nobody does that. Right? Right? Nobody does that. That's disgusting. Anyway, there we go. We get to 3,600. The achievement will unlock. Again, sadly, there's no quicker way or anything to do it. You've literally just got to... Make sure your controller stays connected for an hour. <laughs> so, with that one, we can then move, we can end it, and we can finally move on. And this time we're going down past the moon and heading to the museum level. So this one is yet another easy level. I mean, to be honest, the majority of levels are completely easy. So there is the Mona Cloud. You can't break it with snow, rain, th a tornado, or thunder. So, you're probably wondering what we have to do, and it's actually nothing in this room. So, what we need to do, in the top left corner, there are double gates that we can just batter our way through with no issues. So, as you can see, nothing to do in this room, but what we can do is just head over these double gates here. Uh, don't worry about the camera, that's all fine. And you see this big... Uh, you know, this big ball, bowling ball or whatever. What we can do is pick it up with the tornado, pick it up slightly, and then throw it into the wall first. That's what I do. Throw it into the wall. There we go, just so that the exit's clear. And now we can bring that ball back with us. Back to where the Mona Cloud was sitting. All seductively and stiff. I, I think. There we go. To the right, to the right. And then throw your balls in the Mona Cloud's face. Throw your one ball in the Mona Cloud face, anyway. So that will get us the one objective for breaking the glass. And now we can kidnap Mona, which, in Cloud's term, is... I don't know, you're looking at... You're looking at soft life, pal. <laughs> get it? It's not hard life because it's soft life because it's a cloud. Because clouds are not hard. <laughs> I am hilarious. Anyway, with that, that should be the end of the level. I am not hilarious. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, from here we can go slightly to the left, and we'll be getting another fanboy. 14 out of 16 in ye olde Tinseltown. We don't actually have to complete the level again, we can just go all the way up. All the way to north. You can bring the black hole with you if you want, but... You know, we're not going to be completing it, unless you really want to. So there you go, get your wetness all over this fan person right here. And we can just end the level. Right then, let us get the next fanboy. So go down, and you'll see this little desert island. We're not going to be completing the level, but there is a fanboy here we can soak. And that'll be 15 out of 16, and the last one is on the final level. So that should be 15 for you out of 16. Head up, and we're going into this dinosaur bit now. Now, you know, I mean, what have dinosaurs ever done to people? Apart from, I reckon, they would have, you know, completely killed us all and killed us off and started a new dino age. But, what we need to do is, again, violently and disturbingly destroy all the dinosaurs here. Which, you know, if you were feeling a bit genocidal before, this is definitely going to help. Or not going to help in that case. <laughs> destroy all the dinosaurs, easy as pissing in a pie hole. Yes. So we've only got a couple of levels left now until the end of the game, which is nice. So we're just going to head up there and we're going to do, this is a very short, very, very short level. But once again, very simple enough. So what we need to do is be the bait, very King Kong style, I am the bait. But they don't call me Master Bates for no reason, you know? So anyway, what we need to do is get him to shoot at you and then hide behind these four glass um, blue pillars of sorts until they all break 
Again, you can get hit. I think you can still get hit up to four times. That's fine, but it is easy enough. But beat him, master beat him until he destroys all four of them. Then you see the this big orange pillar in the middle of these doors. We need to just wait in front of there until he shoots them. So wait in front of the orange. Bam, there we go. That should be enough then to dive on through, ending this level. And the level after this is probably one of my most hatredest ones, just because I purely... I'm not a big fan of them at all. This is just one of the um, dry spell... <laughs> that's the boss's name, by the way, dry spell. Hilarious. Um, right, so... Yeah. Big level. This takes around 9 or 10 minutes to do, and it's basically a survival-type mission. So, the one achievement that you can get is for not letting the town get um, touched at all throughout all nine waves, but... Um, that's fine because we don't need to do that until New Game Plus anyway. So, my advice then, you see these little green suicide bots? As long as you put snow down on the right-hand side, they will just suicide themselves and die. And you've got these little green patches. Now, it's highly advisable that you put your rain and water on them to grow up these hedges. They sort of act like little barriers. Kind of very zomb zombie versus plants type style game, if you want. Uh, but just keep, obviously the snow will melt, so just keep making sure to be putting that up. What it'll do is, these new white bots, they will just slow the enemies down, so you can just kill them with the B button with the thunder. I mean, it is easy enough. If you don't mind, you know, sessions and games like this, then this will basically be easy to you. But I am just not a big fan, which is why it just annoyed the crap out of me. So again, remember, don't worry about the little green bots, but it is the little white bots that you're after. And as you can see, the one at the bottom there, he starts eating away at the hedge and the wall. So you need to make sure all of those are full as can be. Now we're going to start getting some weapons. Now we have a cannon. Now what I would do would be to place this cannon on sort of the... The two uh, front hedges there, or the two front walls, I'd place it on the sort of bottom one there. Or the right-hand side one, whatever you want to call it. But basically, we'll get um, canyons and then the Tesla coils. So again, if this wave isn't too bad, just keep an eye out for all of the white bots. And again, don't worry about the green boss. Just make sure that you still put in snow down. And every time you need, need a top up, of course, make sure to get yourself in the water. Try not to get snow in the actual water because enemies can literally go sliding down and start destroying the city. Again, it doesn't matter if you lose any HP on this bit. It's when we do this mission again in New Game Plus. So this is where it starts getting nice and enjoyable now. Um, and the reason is... Uh, it, it introduces a large siege robot. It's very easy to take down with the cannon and lightning anyway. Um, and of course, as always, just repair any walls and snow after killing as a large group usually follows. So there is the large siege robot then. So just destroy him. Always make sure that your hedges are all good. Always make sure that you've got enough snow. Sort of a single couple of line, line paths of snow. Now, my advice would be not to get the snow too close to the hedges. Because that can, with the Tesla coils and the extra can cannons we're going to get, um, it usually just spins them around everywhere, slides them everywhere, and you can lose your bearings quite easily. So that would be my advice, which I d apparently didn't take for this one. <laughs> so, just keep battering them. See, so as you can see how sneakily those little butthole robots are right there. Sliding all the way down, we managed to get them. Wave 5, now this is where we get the Tesla coil. Now what I would do is place it normally behind the bottom section of the wall that your first cannon is in front of. So basically, I end up putting it um, in, in the wrong place, basically. This was just a sort of rush job and I sucked at it. But I would put this, you know, sort of to the right, if you will, of the cannon. Um, but that's fine. But as you can see, I struggled to get it there because there was snow in the way. Um, now, a couple of clusters of the white robots and towers, they'll come down the bottom. Um, but, of course, whenever a big group of enemies gets close, just press B on the Tesla coil, and that will destroy a, great, a big group of enemies.
So then for wave six, we now get a second cannon. Now what I would do here is place this one in front of the top far right wall's top section. So basically where I've put the um, Tesla coil, basically put it right at the top. A couple of sneaky buggers will try getting through there. Uh, now this wave basically consists of a lot of towers and a constant flow of individual enemies. It's wave six and wave seven where it may be the tricky ones here. Again, just use the Tesla on the towers when needed, the towers being the siege robots, the big tall boys, and obviously keep focused on the far top and bottom clear paths. Uh, they start to come in droves, they start to come in a bit of, um, as you can see there, so again the snow just got that robot just straight in front of my head, so why'd you go to hell, dickhole? So yeah, this one is, they're not too bad again once you get everything placed down and you're always remembering to use the tesla coils as well as well as putting the snow down i think that it is the tesla coil which is the main thing for me anyway i've kept forgetting especially on the next wave so it all goes to hell for me on the next wave personally <laughs> but here we are then my opinion wave seven is the hardest one eight and nine are pieces of piss easy piss easinesses so we've got the second Tesla coil, we're going to place it behind the top far right wall and basically we're going to move the cannons into openings between the far right walls and in the corner of the bottom right wall, if that makes sense. That would be the best way to do it. So it's sort of Tesla coil, canyon, uh, cannon, Tesla, cannon, but we need to be sort of grouping them a bit together. Or, you know, that's just my advice. You, you may even find some easier ways to do it. Um, but it, like I said, it does all go to hell purely because I kept forgetting to use the Tesla coils. I was so focused on making snow paths and trying to make sure my hedges were all good. I forgot to actually use the actual weapons, which were going to help me. So, again, just be very aware. <clears throat> just always keep an eye on the top and the bottom paths, as, as you can see there. So the snow, once again, just got one of those little dick robots. And then it all starts going to hell. Like I said, I, I was forgetting to use the Tesla coils, focusing on the wrong thing at the wrong time. So that's where it all went to hell for me. Uh, but that's my advice again. You know, just get, keep focusing on the enemies that are coming on the right, not the ones that are already damaging. <laughs> oh man, it all just went to hell. God damn it. So, wave 8 then. Now, what I would do, we've got another cannon. Personally, what I would do now is just bunch everything up in the middle. Um, as, as much as you can. So, just get everything sort of bunched up in the middle. Because the only thing that's happening in this um, round, uh, the three big tower robots, they're going to spawn you. Hit them with a Tesla. Repair everything. It's job done. Literally. It, it is literally only wave 6 and 7 that may give you... or will give you the biggest bits of trouble. Wave 8 and 9, I have crapped out scarier things and harder things than this. So there we go. So just keep using the Tesla. As soon as they get close, the cannons will do the work. What can you say? Exit hip hip hooray. And finally, wave nine then. So again, I literally wouldn't bother moving everything. I would just get a big snow path, uh, get your hedges working. Basically, it's just going to be one big boss. He's obviously he's obviously going to throw bullets, um, but he's not actually going to damage the town. So if you see that his bullet is starting to fly into the town, he won't actually damage it until he gets there. So if you go in for that achievement, so do not worry. It's not actually damaging the town right now. But of course, just keep making sure to remember to use your Tesla. And just keep zapping him. It really shouldn't take that long before he dies. Obviously, he will move your um, 
cannons and everything as he walks on. But you keep using the uh, Tesla coils, keep zapping him, and he will go down easy as put pear. So there we go then, nice and easy. Now it'll save wave 10, but nothing's actually going to happen. So, I'm not actually going to be showing this again from the new game plus a little bit later on. So I've given out all the hints and tips that I can give. I'll remind you at the end of the game um, to come back to this level, this point around 50 minutes in, if you want any more hints and tips on any particular part. Sadly, there is no other easier way to do it. It is literally just... You know, be good. You got this, girl. You got it. So, what we're going to do is actually get another secret achievement now. We're going to go north a little bit and zap this rock, this mountain. We're going to find a cat. Now, for me, whatever I seem to do, the achievement wouldn't unlock. So, if it doesn't unlock for you, we're just going to simply quit out and head back into the game. Now, what I think you have to do is actually just let him finish his dialogue. And I think that was the problem. That's what happened there. Uh, so we'll end the level, we'll go back into it, zap the same mountain, and then it should be good. So we'll start off at the Seattle Defense, I hate you Seattle Defense, see you can suck me. Zap the mountain again and just keep pressing the A button to skip the dialogue rather than the B button to skip it. Achievement will unlock the Achievement Cat. Job done, job done. So now we literally have one main mission left. And that is what we're going to be doing right now. And this is where we're going to find and be able to make wet our final fanboy. God damn, we've got a lot of people wet. Well, that's what happens when you're famous. If I ever get famous, I will make everyone wet. Because I don't make anyone wet now, which is just a damn shame. Um, <laughs> so anyway, we've got two objectives to do. Float these big old balloons up in the sky. And destroy everything that is on the flamingo card. Um... Now, for some reason, somehow I actually mess it up there. But if we just keep going to the right, that is where we'll find our final fanboy. So there he is. He's going to be up on the bus stop. Zap him and or make him rain, make him wet. That will that should be the last fanboy achievement, and that one should be good. I'll obviously have timestamps in the video below anyway. Um, if you are missing any particular one or anything like that, timestamps will be in, so you can have a look. Now, we actually started again because I messed up on the flamingo boat kind of thing there. So, like I said, uh, best way to get everything up, these big balloons, I just end up zapping them away. But what we're going to do first is just go to the flamingo boat. Mm, that's a nice looking square pizza. And we need to destroy everything on this flamingo boat. Now the way I do that is just to zap literally absolutely everything. I don't know why it didn't work the first time I went around it, but I zap absolutely everything. All these little balls, all these little square balls, all these little ball balls, and there we go then. So that should get that one. Now with the three, again I end up just zapping it, um, and it should actually just start floating away. I wish that burger would float away in my mouth. Because I like burgers. They're so good for me. <laughs> mega soaked. <laughs> That's what nobody says when they look at me. Oh my god, I am mega soaked. Now it's more like, ah, give me my money back, you asshole. Anyway, <laughs> enough of the self burn now. I need, I need more self love. <laughs> and my hand does that just fine. Sorry, right, moving off track. We're <laughs> getting the pizza up in the air now, so zap it. Zap the pizza away. Say, hey, I like broccoli and kale now. I'm a fitness cloud. Or something. Get rid of the hot dog. And that's going to be that. As long as the two-star objectives are done, we can end this level. End the level. But before we head the Finn, before we head to Finn, we're going to go to the left and go into this computer developer's room of sorts, where you're going to see basically everyone who more or less worked on the game. So from here, what we're going to do is head up. Thank you, Emmy, for that enthralling conversation of dot, dot, dot. I appreciate it. We'll come back. Keep heading up all the way up, and you're going to see one guy called Dane who's going to be working on his own. There he goes. He looks angry. He looks well pissed off. Zap the computer, and it's going to kick us back to the main menu. But it is going to unlock us another achievement for breaking the game. So, well, 
<laughs> my pleasure, bruh. My goddamn pleasure. But now that we've done that, now we can actually go to Finn. And now the new game plus will begin. So once again, we'll obviously get another achievement. But now then we can do the sort of miscellaneous and clean up the rest of the achievements for the game. I tell you what, fireworks and stuff just makes us feel goddamn loved, doesn't it? It makes us feel so loved. So, let's do the rest of the miscellaneous achievements now. The first thing we're going to go to from the beginning here is we're going to the beach, which is the third level in on the right-hand side. Now, what we have to do this time is tornado or the humans in. But, and we still have to make sure not to be hit by the sun. Because we have to basically do this without wasting any rain water so obviously don't press the a button don't get hit by the sun because any damage will take it off your bar on the right hand side and that will avoid the achievement so just avoid the sun throw all the humans in with a tornado job done oh, look at this fanboy if you were such a fan you would jump in for me you would jump in and sacrifice yourself like a sacrificial lamb but since you're not going to do that you're just going to flail around like an absolute noob on acid God damn it, buddy, come back here. Hey, right, we finally got there. So, again, avoiding the sun, don't use any water, soaking all the humans, that'll get us that achievement. So now we're going to be coming up to the sort of four boss levels again, but this time we need to infiltrate all the bases within the time limit and without getting hit. But, so we're going to Cloudy Canyon here, but... What you can do right here is press the A button, get rid of all your water, and that will actually fail the mission, but it will unlock you the achievement. Now, that is just a simple way. I'm not sure if it's a glitch, or I don't know if it was intended, and it's just been found out, but that is the best way to do this. So instead of going through it like I do, just press the A button, get rid of all your water, and the achievement will unlock. If not, then just go through the same path that I do here. We're going to the left, through the right, through these rocks, and stay on the right until the last one goes and then zap that. That will unlock the achievement as well. That one, if you're trying to do it legit, may take you a couple of tries. But, like I said, hopefully you've just pressed the A button at the beginning, dumped all your water on, on nothing, and got the achievement that way. Certainly saves a lot of headaches. Oh, we got to love a cheese method, don't we? So, next thing we are going for then, we are going to the second Villa del Dry Spell. Now, I can't tell you how much I laughed at that one, to be honest. <laughs> a dry spell. So, again, what we need to do is just um, hit everyone, and we need to do it without getting hit and doing it in the time limit. So, once again, just make sure to soak everyone at the bar. Make sure to soak everyone under umbrellas and who are lying on sun loungers. Again, the most important thing is to not get hit. And there we go. So, again, you can do the same method. Um... Just dumping all your water, but you've still got to fly around without trying to get hit. You will, if you do it that way, the sort of cheese method way, you'll get it with milliseconds left to go. But we're now going to go back into the level. This time, we're going to throw all the humans in the water. Again, not to waste a single drop. Doesn't matter if you get hit this time, but we are going to tornado everyone. Everybody in the pool! Tis a fine barn, but tis no pool, English. From the Simpsons. <laughs> Anybody know that? Anyone know? There we go. So happy days. So we should get that <laughs> with literally three tenths of a second left. Job is a good one. And I'm not sure if um, going past the time li limit will actually fail the mission or end the mission or anything. I done. I personally managed to do that first time. So uh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. So anyway, what we're going to do is head up now. And basically we're going to go to the... Yeah, let's see, which one was it? The secret base, the one which we didn't do before. In fact, no, we're going to the museum. Sorry, apologies, apologies. Oh, man, I can't even do this one. But this one is a very easy one. We're not even... Th 
don't juice me temptress Mona Cloud. But we are stealing all the paintings, so just go from wall to wall in this room. Take your time with it, no need to rush. Just take your time, make sure to gather up all the paintings. As you can see, if you drop any, just make sure to grab them with you. You can, you can open the doors as well with them. Um, so it just saves. If you do it too quick, they're going to go flying everywhere. And it's just going to piss you off. So take your time with them. Go very slow. Don't worry about the alarms or anything right here. No, one actually does just float by down there. But we'll come back to that one a little bit later on. You can actually break the wall with these paintings if you do it in a certain way or a certain angle. Obviously, I missed that because apparently I am no good at this game. So, just go ahead, grab your big black ball. Big black blue ball. B -b big black blue ball. <laughs> Close enough. There we go. Get the exit going. Be very careful not to actually go through the exit. But give your paintings just a little throw into the light. And make sure to just take a look. Obviously, it, it'll be on your um, objections on the left anyway. So press the start button or the select button. If you are the select or the back button, sorry. If you're wondering how much you've gotten through. So for me, it's 12 out of 13. I know where I left the other one. It was right there. So doing this one, this will unlock us yet another achievement. The Master Thief. We're down with the Master Thief. <laughs> I gotta stop singing. You guys gotta probably hate that by now. So it's actually this time we are going to the secret base. Oh no, god damn it. It's not this time we're going to the secret base, but we go into the third boss. The sort of lava base. There it is then, the bowels of Mount Trisbell. <laughs> Hilarious. So this is where I went, all oh, right, I can just dump all the water and get the achievements. Which makes life easier. So again, just press the A and Y button to make it go down quick as hell. Again, not sure if this is a glitch. I'm not sure if it's going to get patched. So if you're playing, it's just get this out of the way quickly. If not, it, it will take you a couple of attempts. But it's not too bad when you have a certain technique and a certain uh, way of doing the level down. So honestly, it's not all that bad if you ever have to do it legit anyway. But this just, <laughs> just makes life so much easier. And who doesn't like easier? This time, we are going to the secret base. So it's where the Seattle defense was and the dry well gates. It's the one that we didn't go into earlier. This one is definitely the the hardest of the four. Uh, to be honest, there's quite a lot to do in it. It's quite a big level. But thank you to this cheesy method. Let's just dump everything that we can. I'll tell you what, it's like... Snowing diarrhea right here, isn't it? Yum, 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 yum. Hooray! There we go! So, four potentially tricky achievements have just... <laughs> you can get them done in literally 10 to 15 seconds. Get in there! Come on! So, last but not least then... We will be getting the Gravity Gun achievement. Now, to do that, we have to play the level Dream Quack. So, from the base there... Just go directly north, and it is just above the fancy restaurant right there. So, what we need to do is just play that one. So, the fancy restaurant, go into work, that that one, just to the left of the Villa Del Dry Spell right there. So, head to that. Um, you don't actually have to do anything, but we can just um, quit this one, just as long as we played the level, that's all. So, soak everyone, make everyone's day by getting them all dripping wet. <laughs> End the level, and then what we could do is press the select slash um, back button, whatever the hell you want to call it. There we go, eventually we do it. And now we've got an arcade machine in the top left hand corner, so go ahead, press the play button. Uh, press A on the play button. Now again, you can do this legit if you want to, but it's, it basically makes it quite impossible to do it. So what we can do then is just... Press the start button, end the level, and that will get the last achievement. Now, with the Seattle Defense one, of course, go back... I'm not actually showing you now. So go back to um, 50 minutes if you want any more tips, tips and hints. But that is that then, guys and gals. So, thank you so, so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the game and guide. If it did, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, uh, subscribe, and share with a friend as well if you found it useful. Uh, don't forget to check me out on all my socials as well. 
I'm on obviously Twitter, Instagram, Patreon. Huge shout out to everyone who is supporting me on the channel um, on Patreon. A big, big, massive shout out to everyone there. But thank you very much again for watching, guys and gals. I shall see you in the next one. Big live.